If you are looking to learn more about hummingbirds and how you can attract them to your yard, there's a workshop happening later this month that could be for you. Joining us in studio is Fred Bassett. Fred, you will be teaching one of these workshops. What can people expect to learn? Well, the first half of the program, I will uh, talk mostly about the wonderful ruby-throated hummingbirds that we have here in the summer and cover their life cycle and how to attract them and how to take care of them. And then the second half of the program, I'm going to introduce them to uh, wintering hummingbirds. A lot of people don't know we have hummingbirds here in the wintertime, but we do. How common are hummingbirds in the state? Well, in the summertime, there's a lot. There are millions of them. As I tell people here in uh, August and September, if you put up a feeder, you're probably going to get a hummingbird. But there are not very many of them at all in the wintertime. That uh, you're very lucky if you get one at all. But if you get one in the wintertime, it'll change your life because you'll spend the rest of your life trying to get another wintering hummingbird. Yeah, and looking for them. They are fascinating. Why do you think that is? Well, they affect us all out of proportion that they're another small creature that, uh, you know, ladies used to tell me that you don't understand. This is not a bird. This is a fairy slash spirit slash angel that, uh, they're uh, just uh, magical little creatures. And the more you learn about them, the more you think that's uh, probably true. Why do you think people should learn more about them? Obviously, you enjoy it. Well, I do, but it's amazing how much uh, joy people get from hummingbirds. I tell people the greatest stress reliever in the world is to come home in the afternoon and get your favorite beverage, whatever that might be, and sit out and watch the Hummer Wars. And uh, that just brings great joy to people and to me too. There's something about it that's relaxing. You just force yourself to slow down well, and, take, it is, it, and, and when, take in everything. When you see something that small and uh, the different things they can do and the more you learn about them and the, they just do all kinds of fantastic things that uh, we are, we're just learning about now. Do people need to register for the workshop? Oh, uh, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I would say uh, just show up. Be, I'm, I'm sure if you don't register, the, you can get in anyway. When should they show up? Uh, it's 9 o'clock on uh, Saturday the 18th of uh, February at the Doster Center in uh, Prattville. They're in Prattville. Why would you encourage people to come out and attend this? Well, if you'd like to learn about uh, hummingbirds from somebody who knows a little bit about them rather than uh, listening to all the uh, myths and lies that uh, you hear all the time about hummingbirds, and I don't profess that I know a lot about them, but I've been working with them for 30 years, so uh, maybe I can help you a little bit. What are some of those common myths out there? Well, the, 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 they uh, migrate on the backs of geese, which is absolutely untrue. They are perfectly capable of going thousands of miles under their own power. They don't need any help. And matter of fact, uh, most of the time we feed hummingbirds for ourselves so that we can enjoy them, that uh, they don't really need us. But uh, by feeding them, we get to enjoy them. We, we do get to enjoy them when we feed them and get to see them. How can we attract them to our yards? Well, I don't want to give everything from the workshop away. But. Well, the, the best thing is to have a combination of uh, plants that attract hummingbirds. And you can go to my website, hummingbirdresearch.net, uh, and find out about plants. But you really need hummingbird feeders. And uh, I will teach you there about how to, what kind of feeders and uh, what to put in the feeders and how often you have to change them and that sort of thing. Give us the details one more time. When and where is the workshop? It'll be at the Doster Center uh, in uh, Prattville on uh, February the 18th at 9 o'clock in the morning. Is there a charge to attend? No. Absolutely no, no charge. It is free to attend. And give us your website one more time where we can learn more about hummingbirds. Hummingbirdresearch.net. Fred, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Nice to meet you.